All right, we're gonna do something a little different today. I've had thousands of requests to show some more tips and tricks using the bump jigs. So that's what we're gonna do. And what we need are the jigs, some knives, a couple rulers, square. We'll throw in some weights. They might come into play. And since we already have our coffee, we'll just jump right in. All right, let's start with patterns. And yes, cereal boxes make great patterns. Let's say you have a wallet and you need two of these. Now the old way to make a pattern, measure four and a quarter by three, and then re put the measurement here, four and a quarter, but wait a minute, you need a square edge first. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We'll do it the easy way. Make a square. Now, no measuring. Straight bar jig, set it right there. Keep your fingers on there, keep it straight. No measuring, perfect. Now, do the exact same thing for the other side. Cut your square side, you know the height is right. Set that there. Now that is the exact same thing as that pattern. And it took about 10 seconds. All right, let's translate that into some leather. All right, so don't need pins. Don't need a ruler. Just need a straight edge and a corner. See, just like that, you've already got three sides and it took about 10 seconds. Now that is exactly the same as your pattern. Now to get this curve, on this leather, you can just bump the leather up to your bar, bump the pattern up, and trace. And there you go. Now you can freehand cut this or find the right arc jig that fits that circle. And it is that one. So, took a scrap there and cut. Now we want to get rid of these points. Just bump that art up to that bar and there's your point. Cut it off. Do the same on the other side. Cut it off. Now it's perfect. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's do some lettering, which we all want straight. Well, you can use this bar as a straight edge for lettering. And there you go, perfectly straight. 
Here's a trick that's used a lot. You need to square. Bump your leather right down to that bar. Put your square on there. And cut. Perfectly square. Okay, you're making this wallet and it has rivets all the way around it and you need to transfer these holes to this piece. Grab a corner jig, put it in the corner, bump it to the corner, and transfer your holes. Same piece, let's say we need that glued to there. Use your corner jig, and you can mark height. Same thing on this side. Mark the height. And you can scuff for glue. Let's talk about logo stamps. 3D stamps, whatever stamps you want to put in down here in the corner and you've got this stitching line or you will have a stitching line by the time you're finished and you need that to be straight perfectly in that corner. Grab some stamps, let's see logo, logo, a dolphin, some of your 3D stamps, longhorn. All right, let's do a few of these. Let's make some stitch lines. So this is theoretically where your stitches will be. And the magic comes with your corner jigs. We'll start with a 3D stamp. We all have these. Corner jig, corner jig. Make sure it's straight, upright. Just push it in the corner and press. There you go. Let's do one more 3D stamp. Let's do a dolphin. There's your stitch line. Put your corner jig in, your other corner jig in. Get your dolphin upright, unless you don't like them to swim. And there you go, perfectly straight. And if you don't have an arbor press, you just have something heavy, not a problem. Same principle, only an anvil this time. Corner jig, corner jig. Make sure it's straight, upright, which is why I put the arrows on a lot of my stamps. Put it in the corner, get a big whacking device. There you go. And let's do some logos. Same thing, corner corner make sure it's upright got my arrows barely in the corner in the corner whack it perfect let's do one more for the fun of it whoop Really? Corner, corner, upright, no arrows. Good job, Artie. And whack it. Bam. Now you may be wondering about the sizing of these two. One's a quarter inch. 
one's a half inch. And I'll show you why. There will be times when you've already got some leather together like this. Let's say I haven't put this on or I forgot to put this logo on. If both of my jigs were quarter inch, that won't work. I can't bump up against that. But you get this half inch jig in here and this quarter inch jig on top bumps right to it. Logo bumps right to it and you're done. Two layers of leather. This happens when you line a wallet, you make a mouse pad double layer, a desk pad double layer. I've just mocked up a quick little example. But what we need is to cut this excess off. Put a bump jig there, ruler, move the bump jig, and then cut right along that line. Perfect. Now, just do it again three more times. I think I made a coaster. We need to cut this line with this ruler because I'm too lazy to go grab a longer ruler. So, no problem. Get on the line, cut what you have, put the bump jig there, slide your ruler to wherever you need it, and keep on cutting. Remember our coaster that we made? I've been thinking about that coaster. Who wants a square or a rectangle coaster? Let's do another trick. Got our coaster, corner jig, one of the art. What do you think? All of the jigs and weights that you see me use here are now available. I've put the link down in the description. And thanks for watching. Now go have some fun. What are you waiting for? Go.